The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Renata knew that using it could go catastrophically wrong. But he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Exclamation everybody and welcome back to Stories of the Path of Destinies. So, we've unlocked three truths thus far and I believe there's one more that we need to we need to discover and it's going to be a combination of of all of these I'd say. Um there I know that when we went to the temple um there was another pathway that we didn't go down. Uh, which was to trust what's her name and uh, and go talk to her instead of instead of ignore her. I have a feeling that that might be the way we want to do this because we might want to take that to her since she is on our side after all and uh, and then do whatever she deems is is pertinent uh, for our with that with that power that we'll have. I think that's what we have to do. I mean we haven't played this one yet. We've played some of the Sky Ripper, but we didn't actually do the first mission of the Sky Ripper. But I don't think that's going to change much. I don't think having a Sky Ripper is really the thing that we need. I think it's. I think we definitely want this uh, um, the princess on our side. So we're going to go this way and see if I can branch off from where I went last time. The island was windswept desert. No one went there except ostriches and ostrich hunters. The Iblis Stone. It would whisper promises in his ear. Offering power for blood. But this time, Bernardo was sure he could master it. And so, Bernardo went ostrich hunting. Every child could sing verses about the Sky Ripper, but ancient codices held hints of other things a stone that ate souls, a ruby that drank blood, a jewel only a righteous man could give away. Were all these things the Iblis Stone? Long hidden in a buried temple? Another ancient item that was only resurfacing now? Drawn up from the deeps by the Emperor's horrific rituals? Alright, just trying to get uh, used to the controls again. It's been about a week or two since I've last played, so I'm a little... I'm gonna be rusty as, as I tend to be. But I've been, I've been itching to play again. So let's, uh... Let's get back into it here. Alright, open. Take all of those. We're going to need a lot more ore if we want to do the rest of the upgrades. Um, that said... Uh-huh, uh-huh. There's another chest. Alright, we got some health out of it too, even though we don't need that just yet. Hopefully it's not stingy with the health later on, because <laughs> I really, I really need it for my place now, which is get constantly hit in the face and live to tell the tale. Is there anything over here? Oh, yes there is. Indeed there is. Not that much ore though. This chest was really awesome. <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> it was really awesome. Uh, I don't think I have anything to craft though, right? Nope. Nope, I don't have anything to craft. Alright, so we'll go through here, get the Iblis Stone. And then we'll go talk to Princess What's Her Face. What we'll trust her this he time. Here? The last time, the stone had fought him for possession of his own soul. I like how it's changed. It knows that I've been here. And the and the author uh, the narrator is changing based on that. I like it. Alright. 
right it in. Let's go around here. Ah, I gotta get used to the timing again. Yes, yes. Time warp. Oh, yes. I love all the time stuff that I put on here. Oh, my guy. He really wasn't making a dent in those shields. No, no, I'm real. Oh, no, no, I'm really not. They really got me on the ropes here. Oh, damn you guys. Damn you bastards. Yeah, yeah, you got me. Congrats. Oh, damn, damn this guy. Oof, okay. This, this, this getting hung up on things. Not so great, but let's keep going. We got, we got, we got this. I just need to, I just need to get, I just need to get good. I just need to, I need to get my fingers about me again. Oh, these guys that can be in orders that I, oh, no, no, no. There we go. Yes. I'm at the last minute and get all the all the timing that we can. This guy out, please. Renato checked and... to make sure his sword was still working. Yep. <laughs> you tell me I'm swing I'm swinging too much. I'm not I'm not hitting things that I'm swinging at. Is that what you're saying? Oh damn! Okay. The ravens were already here, cawing in frustration. They were still searching for a way in. Good. And he hadn't come too late. Although my health is always bad. Okay, here we go. Yes, give me all that health. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Also, I have a I have an upgrade. Okay, cool. We got skill point available. Let's take uh, increased maximum health. Would be nice actually. Um, let's take. Damage on hooked enemies. Pale your enemy on your sword when you grab him to cause damage. Uh, true sword foo. Attack enemies at any distance. Auto activates when reaching a certain combo threshold. Uh, dash through enemies. Let's take this one, the combo one. Swell. He always wanted to do that. Yep, yep. I certainly do. Oops. Uh, all right, we've done that. I just like to I like to click on these things, getting more health that I can. Thank you. Okay, we're doing all right so far. All right, now I'll take your shield. Okay, who wants to attack me first? Anybody? They're all thinking about. It. Oh, this guy managed to get in before I could click him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two guys in a row, hard to click the right one. Right, let's get out of there. Yeah, I tried to click that guy, but this other guy was in the way. Take your shield, please. Thank you. And then we will take you out. Alright, not so bad. We're, we're still, still not, uh, not the prettiest thing in the world that I'm doing, but I am at least not taking quite as much damage, stupid damage as I was. More health, please. 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 Oh, there's some. Okay, I'll take that. Over here. Sometimes, we're not a really hated inanimate object. Tell me about it. He's a man after my own heart. <laughs> Damn these inanimate objects. Damn them all. Alright, let's open this. Since we have the power. We did not have the power last time I was here to open it. So we can see what is in here for our procurement. Nothing there. Ooh, what is this? Read. <clears throat> Find this. Um, um, 
Find the stone. You have been chosen in this critical mission for your ability to follow orders to the letter without question. Do not believe the naysayers. Your score is the intelligent. Your score in the intelligence test is only proof that you are better geared than anyone else to follow orders. Take pride in knowing that I, your emperor, have handpicked you for this mission. Follow the instructions to the letter. Always travel in pairs. Do not look at the engravings in the wall. Do not lose the hermetic box. When you find the stone, immediately place it in a box and seal the box. If you hear a voice in your head, ignore it. Remember, the temple is haunted. Obviously, this is an old temple dedicated to an old evil god. There were blood sacrifices. Of course it would be haunted. Ignore the voice in your head. Remember, ghosts cannot hurt you, but they will try to confuse you. When you hear a voice, take the drowsy pill. If you meet another soldier with the stone and it is not in the hermetic box, immediately spray them with drowsy gas. Find the stone, put it in a box, seal the box, and most important of all, find the stone. I think he wants me to find the stone. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm getting that distinct feeling. I, I'm not sure why. But, I, but it, it's just something that... Uh, it's like a sixth sense, almost. Hmm. A road less traveled. Hmm, indeed. This could be fun. If it wasn't fatal, that is. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, let's see if I can get over here and get away from that. Yep, there we go. Actually, was there another one? I feel like there's another thing over here. No, I guess not. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to try. I'm trying to check and, I, and I'm not trying to check. Both at the same time. Oh, yeah, you got me. Congrats. See, I'm trying to get my timings down, which is very hard for me to do. I don't I don't have any timing at all. Let's get out of there. Explode already. And I'll take that, please. I could just throw these guys off. That was good. Was it good for you? Alright. Is it a sword? Is it a key? Achievement unlocked. I got a couple of achievements, huh? Alright. Where shall this place me? Just over here. We'll hop, skip, and jump away. And oh, yes, we've got some guys that have spawned. That's a thing that has happened. Alright, let's. No, no, okay. I don't have. I don't have any powers. No power to do what I want to do. Trying, trying to get just the perfect shots in that I could. All right, but we did, we did get hit, so we got an imperfect on that, unfortunately. That said, I still think we did pretty badass. There is a crafting bench over here too. Now here's some fireballs. All right, where the heck am I at now? Why well, can't I see anything? Oh, there's the... Okay, this is what I saw from above. All right. So we'll get over here. I wondered if his future self had commissioned these poles. <laughs> Tell me about it. They're very convenient, aren't they? And we got ourselves Energy on Kill, a level one gem, which I don't have equipped. Let's come over here and take a look at it, see if it's any better than what I've got. We got attack speed, physical resistance, critical chance... If I really want to change anything, I think I like my attack speed and everything that's going on now. But let's just see what is it? Energy on kill, is it? Killing enemies gives you three percent sword energy back. Eh, no, that's that sucks. Treasure hunter is kind of nice, rare loot by one percent, but still, nah, I prefer I prefer the attack speed, honestly. All right, back we go, and. There had to be some way to use the Iblis Stone. It was old, wasn't it? People are so much cleverer now. And Renato was pretty sure he was cleverer than most people. <laughs> well, he might be cleverer than most people. I 
I am decidedly average. at the altar. Let's go this way real fast. Make sure I'm not leaving any chests behind. Or having a door that I can go through now that I couldn't go through before. And that would also be excellent. You never knew where the road would take you, thought Renato. Yeah, tell me about it. it. Might take you to loot. Yeah. Uh, or to or to battle. Loot or battle. Really can't tell too much anymore. Oh, yeah, I saw you too late to do anything about it. Oh, you bastards. Jeez Louise. It's like I get zero seconds to actually res to respond to those to those exclamation points going on there. Alright, let's uh Uh hello. Oh no. I just soft locked the game. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, he's he's stuck in this pose. Uh really? Alright, I'm back to where I was. This time not soft locking it. And let's get moving forward, shall we? Yep, alright, let's do that. Take your shield away from you just in case. In case you have some some funny business you wish to conduct. And I can't get around here to get to this guy to actually <laughs> hit him. Alright, there we go. Got perfect on that one. I also leveled up again and I got an additional perk so that I it didn't completely reset me. So that's the thing. And level three on Treasure Hunter. We got a level two on Treasure Hunter. The last, the one I from the other chest I just obtained earlier. And I think that's all she wrote here. So I guess we will head back from whence we came. And I'll look once more down here just to make sure I don't miss anything. Anything important? There's something there that I can't see. I don't think I can go that way anyway. All right, and then just a door with a... That's the door we came in, I think. Or was it this door over here? Oh, we came in this door. That's the other door that we could have come in, I guess. Is the way that goes. We're all, all back now, to the same spot. I you guys, Renata said, do you know, know I can get a good smoothie around here? And yes, this time really does give me a lot of time to, to do what I need to do, which is cool and everything. I can see what's going on around me. Not quite so hectic that I can't follow it, which is awesome. All right, we did take some damage there, but nothing, nothing too spectacular. Let's not take stupid damage from these things, if we can help it. Okay, and you burn yourselves out, and then this one goes away. I can come over here. Excellent. All right, so let's activate and see if there's a little bit of health in these things. The ravens at least could not get past this point. Obviously, the temple builders knew how to deal with tomb raiders. Yeah, there we go. There's some health back. All right, we're almost back up to full health again. Don't need to use the altar, I just need to go down and grab this thing. So let us do that. And hope for the best here. Now I wonder having read that thing that I didn't that I couldn't read before, if that would if that would change, you know, that little scroll that we read, if that had if that would change something, but doesn't uh, so far hasn't changed anything yet. Like maybe I'll be better equipped to deal with this stone now but we'll see Leonardo hated cannon traps also who reloaded these things anyway he never figured that part out yeah exactly oof got the uh, got the mute button fast there uh, and a coughing spell for a second Okay, dokie. Uh, over here we go. And 
try to turn this thing off. There we go. Come back through here. Over there. Don't get hit by the random stuff flying around. You can help it. Good. Good, good, good. And down here we go. Another battle. Or no, this is the this is the gem. It was a stone of the purest blackness. It reflected no light, like a void made solid. Nervous, he picked it up. Who said that? It was the stone, eager, thirsty. That seemed tempting and terribly wrong. Zenobia was the Emperor's greatest general and a potent witch. But they had been close once, and he had a sneaking suspicion the gem would try to control him. Why not capture the core of Sky Ripper instead? It was the eye of a lost god torn out by the transcendent Emperor to power his greatest weapon. What's the core? said the stone anxiously. But even though Renato knew how evil the gem was, he had a clever plan for dealing with it. Oh yeah? Well, there's a third option. So, I was thinking that I would have to go here, do this again, and then get the option to go back to her. But it's giving me a third option here? A clever plan to use the gem. The Iblis Stone. It promised great power, but Renato knew that its power came at a cost. He had thought of a clever way to have its power without its evil. Renardo's clever plans did have a tendency to backfire. I I'm very curious. Let's try his clever plan. The gem could give great power, but it was evil. But Renardo had a plan. He would divide the stone into the power half and the evil half. He sought out the sage Calaveras. Oh, you need a mirror of splitting, croaked Calaveras. I can make one. Calaveras set up various shiny things. And soon Renato was setting the stone down in the middle of Calaveras' lab. There was a flash, and now Renato was looking at himself. Except with a mustache and a goatee and darker hair. There were two Iblis stones. One light and one dark. Renato took the light one. He felt a rush of great power. Now I can defeat the Emperor. Wait a minute. Unfortunately, he couldn't think of any way to use it without hurting someone. That wouldn't be nice. Give me that, said his evil-looking twin. And he drew his sword. He only got it halfway out of the scabbard when he fainted from the effort. Obviously, neither weak, evil Renardo nor powerful, nice Renardo was any threat to the Empire. After the Emperor's victory, they were exhibited in a museum until time ended, which was soon after. He had tried something bold and paid the price for it. Well, that was fast. <laughs> they just ended the game right there. Like, nope, you're, you're done now. Okay, so I do still think I can go down that path, though. Um, Every child hmm. could sing verses about the Sky Ripper. But ancient codices held hints of other things. A stone that ate souls. A ruby that drank blood. A jewel only a righteous man could give away. Were all these things the Iblis Stone? Huh. Long hidden in the buried so temple. It... Another ancient item that was only resurfacing now. Drawn up from the deeps by the Emperor's horrific rituals. Alright, so put me back at the beginning of this level. Interesting. All right. Well, I guess I will. I will go back through this level, and then we'll pick something else. How about that? All right. We're back to the choice, and I'm going to pick this one. Uh, I'm not going to do this one yet. I think I go one more with this, combine these two things, and then go to uh, Zenobia. So I think that's another option uh, on the next one around. So let's do this. The stone bothered him. He hated being told what to do. 
Wasn't that why he joined the rebellion? Wasn't that why he'd refused to be a soldier? He'd agreed to come on board only if he could freelance. The stone felt a bit clingy, and he had a feeling it did not have his best interests at heart. The sage Calaveras had told him where to find the Sky Ripper, a weapon capable of challenging the gods. Even without its armature, the core would still possess great power. He would go there 